All right, man. Last prediction video of the year. Detroit Pistons will Detroit Lions, excuse me, will end off their 2021 uh season at home versus the Green Bay Packers, which they they haven't done this all year. They put a video in the game cast because they love Aaron Rodgers so much. Um so uh let's talk about it, give you a little bit of betting advice on the Packers say they are going to play some of their starters. They're gonna play their starters, but we don't know for how long. I do know that Aaron Rodgers is, is closing in on Peyton Manning's single season passing record. Um let me pull that up. This season. You can pull that up. So, um, Peyton Manning threw for with Denver. He threw he threw for five thousand four hundred and seventy seven yards. Okay, Aaron Rodgers. So, even though Aaron Rodgers is gonna have one more game to do it, which you know, records are always sketchy because that JJ Watt literally will have his sixteenth game to break Michael Strahan's sack record. So. He missed a game, okay? They added a game to sure people understand. So, well, yeah, he's not anywhere close to that record. So, I don't know what record they was talking about because he got 3,977 yards. So, I don't know what, what record he, he posed to be breaking. You know, is it the passing the passing yards all the time? I don't know what they're talking about, but they said single season, single season. So, maybe he could pass Peyton Manning. I don't know. He's nowhere near the passing record of Peyton Manning as far as third overall and overall passing yards. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what uh, record Aaron Rodgers is they talking about breaking. Maybe building up toward. So I just heard it on the uh, first take. So I know he broke Brett Favre's record. So yeah, I don't know what record he's trying to break. Uh, I just. He's nowhere near the pain record, but obviously you see the stats right there playing them before uh, earlier this season um, in Green Bay before it got cold. Um, it was a close game to start raining. Then Jared Goff forgot how to play quarterback. But Goff, people talking about we would be all right. We're going into golf, going into next season with Goff. Um, he missed a couple games, but 17 touchdowns, eight interceptions, 3,700 3, yards, 311 for 46. Rogers 352, 513 attempts, 3,977 yards, 3544. And golf is just not the guy. People just feel so comfortable talking about we we should get defense and build the team. No matter they showed this year, no matter how good the defense played, Jared Goff let them down. The quarterback controls the temperature of the team. Special teams for defense. So they can say, well, the quarterback class were weak this year. Everybody said the quarterback class was strong last year. And right now, Mac Jones and you know Davis Mills the third is the top two quarterbacks coming out of there. So you can't always go on projections, you know. I always say this: they project Russell Wilson to be that guy. Dak Prescott, Tom Brady, Kaepernick went in the second round, Andy Dalton went in the second round. You know, y'all said this year was going to be a stronger uh, draft class. You should wait till this year and look, look this year. You know, if you're going to be drinking Kool-Aid or Jared Goff winning two games, you know, you ain't too smart. They have to they have to prepare. They have to find somebody this year that they can they can either be a safety belt for Jared Goff or somebody they can build up to be that guy. Then, like I said about DeAndre Swift, he ain't that good neither. Every time he have a good stretch going, he always hurts something, shoulder, head, or something like that. Craig Reynolds should be the lead back. Jamal Williams looks slow and beat up right now, you know. But Rod, but, uh, Aaron Jones, he probably missed some times. 171 carries, 70, 799 yards, four touchdowns. Also splitting with A.J. Dillon. Uh, DeAndre Swift, 144, 587, 14 at the end. They making a dumb decision to put DeAndre Swift out there for no reason. You're not playing for nothing. Well, I just not smart. The Redonta Devontae Adams, 117 receptions, 1,498 yards, 11 TDs. Santa Monica Bryant, 82 receptions, 803, 4 TDs. And like I said before, man, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if Jared Goff plays. Look at the injury report with the 
Packers have a 79.7% chance to win, 0.2% for a tie, 20.2%, you know, for Lions to win, and, you know, Green Bay ain't playing for nothing anyway. So, Jay Alexander will be out this game. They thought he was going to play. Chauncey Rivers, Laura Beck, go to injury reserve. David Bakhtari, questionable. Billy Turner, guard, out. Aaron Rodgers, questionable. Okay. Penisa Will is out. Um, Joe Heath is out. Jason Cavanaugh on the foot, full back with Shaw Barry and Jerry Goff are questionable. So, like I said before, man, you know, people, I could tell people that either are either, uh, they, 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 I don't want to see, they just ignorant to, to the ways of the Lion War. They just ain't been fans long enough. The Lions have plenty of years started off slow and bad and then finished off pretty good or okay. And people start getting behind them, putting expectations for the next season. It will be the same stuff. Even if you find a good receiver, and they said, well, golf started going down the field when he got rentals. Teams are going to make golf go through his progressions. Okay? No matter what the weapons you put around golf, he's going to give you limitations. Golf is really best as a, as a friend starter backup. He's really Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay? No matter if he played and he have a great game versus Green Bay or not, the number one priority for the Lions is to find the guy or potentially who can be the guy. Green Bay has a guy that they pushed out the door for some reason because I think he's going to be gone. Hopefully come back for Green Bay's sake, but hopefully he don't come back for our sake. But, you know, this game is meaningless. They're going to play They're gonna play golf. They're going to play Swift and for no reason because they're paying them. And if you're healthy or semi-healthy, you got to play because – we all about the money. These guys should be resting. You should begin to look at what you got in David Blog and then make your evaluations for your exit interviews with the player. This game literally has no contest. The only reason I will be watching this game is because I have to report and do a video on this game. Okay. This game means absolutely nothing. You know, if we lose and Jacksonville beats Indianapolis, then we have number one pick, but Indianapolis got to win to get in. If Indianapolis loses, the Raiders and Chargers both get in. If Indianapolis win, Raiders and Chargers play each other. The winner get in. So, yes, the Raiders still have an opportunity at getting in the playoffs, okay? They have options at quarterback. You got the kid from Baltimore who will be a free agent who was undrafted out of Utah, uh, Utah, I think it was. Um, you might have a chance at Tua. Deshaun Watson was rumored today that, you know, he said – there was a rumor saying that he's the, he's not going to waive his no-trade clause. I think it was for the Washington football team. Um, might have a shot at Baker Mayfield, maybe Dame Jones. I mean, you know, maybe Jalen Hurst. They got two picks, so they got they got options. They got options, and they got a lot of options. And uh, we'll see what happens, but, you know, we'll see in the combine. You know, I think somebody, quarterback, is going to rise into the top five. I could be wrong, but this game right here, um, I don't know how long Green Bay is going to play or when we're going to see Jordan Love. Um, but uh, I think they play into, into – until the, until the game get out of hand, maybe to the half. Um, if Rodgers got some type of record that he's chasing, they might play the whole half. But I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and say that the Green Bay Packers get the job done and they win, like, I don't know, 28 to 27. Well, I say 28 to 21. And, you know, they hold off the lead with Jordan Love coming in there. But Love looked bad, and they should really be kissing Aaron Rodgers' ass. And they should really present a huge contract for him. ASAP. Okay. They should be kissing his butt. They should give him part of the ownership or whatever the situation may be. But um, but yeah, they should be kissing his butt. But yeah, this game means nothing. If I didn't have to report on it, I would just have this. I wouldn't watch this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, I wouldn't, you know. Especially if it, well, like I said before, the party for the number one party for the Lions is not, you know, going with what who say what is number one and number two. The priority for the Lions is finding who's the best player available, what's the best option available, and it's finding a quarterback. You know, y'all said wait till this year. We waited this year. We didn't find a quarterback. Now y'all saying it's not a quarterback there. Quarterback position is too important, and they got some capital they can move. I don't mind if they trade DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams to roll with the young guys. You know what I'm saying? DeAndre Swift is so early in his career, he can't hold up. If Stafford won so bad, you know, Run the charge up for him. I like Jamal Williams, but I think Craig Reynolds, you know, is the guy. And if you want to find another scat back, you can. Lions have three compensatory picks. A lot to talk about, but Jared Goff isn't the guy. You gave Jared Goff a good line most of the year. You know, a lot of sacks that he had was him turning his back and trying to get away. 
Um, gave him people said, well, he didn't have a weapon going down the field, whatever the situation was. You're making $30 million, you better make a weapon up. But I got Green Bay 28 to 20. Check out Detroit Lions prediction playlist for more videos like this. Detroit Lions talk playlist, live prediction video of the year. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you got a business question, cry, response, your video question, chop it up with constructive criticism. Always open for that. Let me know what you think. Financially, you want to make a donation, cash app, Dallas sign, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Uh, Venmo CJ Good. If you want your audience description, Venmo Cash Air on the bottom of the screen. Best way to donate. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notification, go live or drop a video. Appreciate the love support. One time for the